Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest Rally Trapping video. Today I'll be showcasing some clips from my Mini Titan. In today's video, I'll be taking a bunch of single rallies, which leads to a triple rally, which leads to a penta rally, which I've actually already posted. You've seen the penta rally, but this is the lead up to that. So the first rally today is going to be from AR Rodgar. Again, I will be doing a bunch of limit testing in today's video as well, kind of seeing what kind of rally I can take with a certain amount of troops and all that uh, based on gear and everything so I'll be taking some in like fake gear I'll be taking some in construction gear some in my real gear just kind of showing you the differences basically just for my own like how what kind of rally can I take so the first rally is coming in it's an 055 again if you ever see an 055 coming at you go range foul um, again I tried to put my war gear on but I did not get my swap off so uh, the reason why I was putting my war gear on was because this guy was really strong because he's uh what is he almost 600 artifact stars max castle stars uh really good mix set all that full mythic champ so this guy is like a titan not quite a maxed account but he's a titan for sure based on his artifact stars and castle stars and all that I don't think he's 11k heroes though yeah so that's the one thing this guy is missing but uh, everything else kind of puts him in the Titan kind of uh, category. Again, he's he's just above those top tier leads, like just a little bit above just based on his stars and stuff like that, base stats, all that stuff. The only things he's really missing, yeah, 175 castle stars, almost 600 artifact stars, so you know he's pretty good. But um, I did want to put my war gear on there, but it was actually good because I got to take that in my uh, fake war gear and I got to see how little damage I actually took. Uh, you can see only 1.5, so, so I was like, oh, actually maybe I can take these kind of leads in my fake gear now, especially when I had this much tier 4 on the account. Um, it's actually a good thing I missed that, because otherwise I would have not got that information, I would have been having to put my war gear on for all these guys, so it's actually kind of a, a good thing that it happened. And yeah, you can see all the stuff he sent there. But again, uh, the reason why you want to go uh, range foul for 055 is uh, range is the only thing that's not going to get countered in that situation since he's sending range and cav. The cav will counter your infantry and the range will counter your cav. And he's not sending infantry, so range is the best to go in that situation for that kind of mixed rally. So anyways, we're moving on. This is going to be the uh, situation that kind of sets up the triple and the uh, penta rally after that on this again i am sort of getting doubled from sgu and lf again they are kind of a family guild i'm pretty sure uh but they did not time this and both leads are not amazing uh i would say uh at the sgu guy is either a high mid tier lead or a low top tier lead for like tiering wise and the other guy's a low tier lead so I wasn't super worried about this rally, wasn't even planning on putting my war gear on for either of these guys, even if they timed a double, uh, I might not even put my war gear on for that, because as long as I like counter the SGO moon guy, the other guys counter, even if you counter me, would do like two to three mil, so it's not really a big deal. So anyways, just gonna pop the pack fives onto my wall. Again, I'm not running an anti, so they can see what's coming. They are throwing in a cav rally. So got to swap to my range. Again, just going to take this one in construction gear. Unfortunately, the map didn't want to load. So I'm like, is the rally still walking? So I just went, <laughs> went back into my castle here to see. Uh, they are scouting me. So a couple people will get the scout with my pack fives on the wall. Not much I can do. Um, but uh, yeah, they kind of sort of carpeted in there. And then they decided not to. So I... I kind of was sitting with my pack fives on the wall for way too long. So they obviously, first off, know I'm online because uh, I countered the rally and they tested me in infantry and I didn't have an anti. So they knew I was an in infantry. Uh, so I swapped the range and now they scout at me and they're like, hey, he didn't take much damage. Uh, his range frontline went down, not his infantry. So he obviously uh, was not in infantry for that rally <laughs> um and uh yeah so he, he's online or at least they're thinking i'm online keep in mind i don't have a ton of troops on this account so it doesn't always scare people away if they know i'm online because i am losing troops and now i have like 20 mil troops so like maybe we can still rally this guy and burn him so the uh 27 cat or the yeah the 20 castle star guy did up canceling i don't blame him he's not strong enough of a lead to hit me if i'm online 
Um, this one did 1.1 mil to my construction gear. So again, I am doing some limit testing, seeing how, how it can go. Uh, again, this guy didn't send a lot of tier five, so it wasn't very scary. Really didn't do much damage, 1.1. I mean, if I put my war gear on, I'm not really reducing it too much more than that because the pack fives are going to do maybe 200k less damage and uh, the main attack I mean, he probably really didn't do much damage to begin with, <laughs> with that main attack. He probably did three or 400k, so I might take 200k. So I'm like, yeah, it's not worth putting my war gear on and showing them it, because as soon as I put my war gear on, they are not hitting me again. Unless, unless I already have one of their leads and they might try and free it, because again, I don't have very many troops, so they might think they can do it. So anyways, uh, it does look like another quote-unquote double rally set, but again, not a timed one. This guy's a little bit stronger, so I do have to be a little careful here. I'm gonna throw my pack fives on a little bit later, since uh, they, they kind of didn't go very quick last time. I'm in infantry and they decided to send range, so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> so again, uh, I did have to try and swap there. Uh, it would have been close because they were carpeting pretty fast, but uh, since they uh, basically sent the thing that uh, was my front line there, uh, I didn't have to do anything. They countered themselves. I was already sitting in infantry, so... Again, maybe they had thought I swapped to range, and then they thought I thought they were going to send infantry because I was in range, and I decided they decided to send range because they thought I was going to swap the cav, but I'd already swapped back to my original front line, which was infantry. They didn't test, so I, again, um, they didn't realize they were just full on countering themselves there because they didn't test again after the first rally. Um, I, because again, I think they thought I was online, so they didn't bother testing, but again, since I'd already swapped back to, uh, infantry it didn't matter and again even if they sent infantry there i probably might have just kept it in infantry honestly because um i didn't think it would do too much damage but now i have one of their leads so now they do have to kind of free the lead and this guy was tough talking me the whole damn time so he was especially when they set the uh, triple and the and the and the pentarelli he's like you sure you don't want to give the lead back now i'm just like you, you, you'll see later, and it didn't go too well for them, so anyways. Again, they, they thought they could get me, because since I had very little troops, but here it's a cab rally. Now that I'm in infantry, they're sending cab on. Gotta speed it up, it's fine. They're not speeding fast enough. Not even close. Like, look, I, I could have went and got a coffee or, or made a sandwich in the between here. I decided to throw my war gear on just because I didn't have very many troops, but honestly, looking back at this, I should have just kept in construction gear. Because uh, I, even though I didn't have my war gear on for very long, it was only like just over a second. Um, they, they might see it and might end up canceling more rallies and might not want to go for me, even though... Um, even though I don't have very many troops left. But again, I was like, ah, if they're gonna keep going, I might wanna save some troops here because um, since I don't have very many. But then again, I could have just remade troops since I am like all manners and I have like 480% or, uh, training speed in my current setup if I put my uh, training speed gear on and stuff. So, uh, anyways, this guy did 311k to my front line, 706. 713k to my back line. Again, this guy was a little bit stronger, so with my war gear on, he still did a little bit of damage there. Uh, I mean, 300k to my front line is not a lot, and 700k with the pack fives is not a lot either, but <laughs> it is more damage than obviously they would be doing if I was in my construction gear, so I uh, probably would have took like four or 500k more if I had stayed in my construction gear there, so um, did save some troops there. Um, this guy did 1.5. Uh, you can see the difference here, 617 to my front line, and then like 900k to my, uh, with the pack fives there. Um, that was in my construction gear, so you can see the damage difference. It'd be pretty similar from the, the, the last guy, so I think I say four, four or 500k damage by putting my, uh, my, uh, gear on. You can see he does have tempered 12 mythic champ in his cab set. This guy is a good leader. I did use his uh, bunny to get his leader back there, but I still have one of their leads, so they do have to technically either leave it there or come free it. And again, they got a lot of guilds here, so um, they got a big family guild here, so I was expecting them to come, especially since I'm not running an anti. Keep in mind, they know my comp. They know I have like a four mil front line. They're like, they're like we definitely got this. We can do a mixed rally or or do a rally party later and save it. So um, I wasn't too worried about them seeing my war gear just because um, my low troop comp is something they could rally. And again, I am not a huge castle. If I had this troop comp and I was like 1.8 bill um, 
in this gear. They might be a little more scared, but at this point, they might think I have low base stats or something like that, and they're like, maybe we can do it sort of thing, because, again, uh, that's usually what happens, but obviously I don't have low base stats on this account. I have high base stats. Uh, real, it's, a, it's a lead account, so anyways. Anyway, so I'm going to pop... Uh, I don't know why I popped a 70% boost. That, that, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. I was like... Uh, I don't know why, because I saw how strong this guy was. He's not a maxed account. Um, it is 424. They're speeding up. going to throw my infantry gear on because I had it in the wrong position. Um, I don't even know if the rallies hit me at this point. <laughs> but, again, I think they hit me in my uh, infantry gear there. But, again, my infantry gear is pretty good. It's got... It's got decent range stats already since I am kind of jeweled in my cups for range, so that's okay. But um, my cav stats are a little bit lower on that one, obviously, because I don't really have much cav stats in my infantry gear. That's the only issue, but uh, it didn't really matter. This guy's not strong enough. I don't know why, why I was freaking out there putting a 70% boost. It, it's more... Uh, it's, it's more habit from my other Rally Trap, honestly, because my other Rally Trap doesn't have the stats this account has, so I do need to sometimes pop the attack boost for these, like, kind of titan sort of guys. Uh, but this guy wasn't a max account. I really don't need that attack boost on, the, on this guy. Um, putting the, the wrong gear on was interesting, though. <laughs> uh, again, I'm not also not used to having so many quick swaps. I'm usually just having one page and the top one is what I click, and when I went there, it... The top one was my infantry gear and not my mix gear because I'd been scrolled down. So, um, yeah, that, that's just a uh, that's just an issue of playing on more than one account and getting used to something and uh, switching over to accounts and this happening and all that. So, anyway, so he did 1.2 again, not very much damage, obviously, um, not strong enough for that. Uh, like I said, he, he's not a bad account or anything like that. He's just not a max account. Uh, you can see here. Let's see. He's got 175 castle stars. He's got a bunch of temper 12. Uh, Mythic Champ, but he's only got 490 Artifact Stars, so not max count. He's a Titan because he's got the 311k heroes, he's got uh, Temper 12, he's got max Castle Stars, but he is missing like 200 Artifact Stars compared to like some of those like... Again, I don't know what Artifact Stars he has done though, so um, if he's got all the gold ones and stuff, he could be way stronger than he looks sort of thing, um, so that could be a thing, but... I don't know. I mean, based on the damage, 1.2 is obviously not a maxed account because those max accounts do like, uh, whatever it is, like, um, way more damage. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video I will be putting in the triple rally, uh, that whole situation, which was the next day. Um, again, the guy who I capped kept tough talking and he's like oh you sure you don't want to sell it back you're gonna regret this and all that and they came back with some rally parties and uh spoiler alert, i capped them all so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more of the mini titan videos let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you want to know let me i always read all the comments by the way other than that hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one